We want to bring you new overnight reaction now on the deflate gate punishment. We got full belief in Tom as our quarterback, as a as a leader, as a man on our team, and uh, I feel the same way as everyone else does in that locker room. And that was Patriots safety Devin McCourty speaking last night after learning of the NFL's decision to suspend Tom Brady. This after the Wells report showing Brady was generally aware the team had employees that were likely intentionally deflating footballs during the AFC championship game. The league suspending Brady for the first four games of the season, meaning he'd be eligible to return, ironically enough, against the Colts October 18th. The league also levied hefty fines against the team, even though Coach Belichick and other higher-ups were cleared in the investigation. The Pats fined a million dollars, largest fine in league history. They also lose next year's first-round draft pick and a fourth-round pick in 2017. Both uh, of those, uh, those punishments, rather, to Brady, the four-game suspension, you can expect appeals from both Patriots and Tom Brady. I'm News News reporter Brian Nakono has some new reaction this morning live in our newsroom. Brian? Well, Danielle, good morning. Uh, fan reaction and also frustration to that punishment still bubbling over this morning. In fact, Tom Brady is trending on social media right now, but it looks like fans throughout New England appear to be standing by their guys, saying the investigation and the punishment don't change their image of the star quarterback. Other fans saying they support Brady even more now because they don't believe he was involved in the deflation of those footballs. There is a feeling, however, among some that the NFL felt an example had to be made out of Brady, so they came down hard. I guess they had to do something, so I guess four games is better than 16. He's so much part of that fourth Lombardi trophy. It makes no sense without Tom Brady there in uniform playing in a game. I don't want to see a banner without Brady. He's been the franchise. Keep in mind the first home game after that suspension would be October 25th. That would be against the Jets. Obviously no shortage of fan reaction, but new this morning coming up in 30 minutes, we will hear from one of Brady's biggest rivals. We'll hear what Eli Manning is now saying about that punishment. In the newsroom, Brian Econo, Eyewitness News. Stay with us for continuing coverage of Deflategate. Coming up new at 730, we're learning how another major sports league is changing the way it's handling that the balls it uses in play we will have more reaction to Tom Brady's four game suspension on air and online. You can always head to our website as well to read the Wells report for yourself.